What's going on guys? Pegasus and the Wise Guys and I'm here with Oh my god. <laughs> this is the most I've been active today. I I've, I've been in the heat. Go ahead, my brother. Oh, it's 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 good to see you. Shout out to Panda randomly in the background trying not to bust out oh, laughing and <laughs> But hey, bro, you played one of your decks, bro. I'm gonna stop talking. You know, I I know you 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 played some some spice, so. Uh, I've been cooking. Okay, okay. Uh, here's one of the decks I've been cooking. It's been White Wood Centurion. Mm. Uh, I've been playing it for a while now. I like Centurion Pier, mm -hmm. but uh, I, I saw the Synchro Monster. I thought it was gonna be cool, and uh, it took me a very long time to get to this list, but. I think it's actually pretty gas. Mine is synchro drawing. good stuff. Is it, is it yeah. synchro good times? Is it Akeem's synchro fun house? Is it any kind of special name to it? Or uh, uh, Center Woods. <laughs> Center Center Woods. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a horrible name. We're gonna work I know, on that name. I know, We're gonna but, work on that name. But hey, look, <laughs> look, we don't care. <laughs> um, so we'll start off with this in Terion. We play two Primera, mm -hmm. uh, one Gargoyle, one Trudea. and that's it on the the centurion monsters it's only like oh, maybe right. a, two or three times it came up where i needed more but oh. i don't want to play any more of this because you don't really want this to be your normal summon you want to pitch this out of the deck mm -hmm. you also want to search for this out of the deck with the the synchro mm -hmm. these are two that you don't mind seeing um but you also want to get so, this from so the deck. it's it's an engine to you at this point is it feel like it's just better off being an engine mixing in the stuff or um no, see, see, the issue with this deck is, um, with the Centurion and Whitewoods, you have a lot of normal summons, mm -hmm. right? And they can get you to different plays and stuff, but you don't want to clog your hand with normal summons. Otherwise, you got to start to play cards like Broomy. Like, yeah. You got to have Broomy on the list, um, level two spellcaster. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you when you, when your hands get clogged, you can, you know, search Broomy instead of your, for your level six synchro, and then you can, like, summon it. But, uh, I cut that, and because I cut that, I was like, well, sh I don't want to have so many normal summons in the deck. I don't want to open my hand and have five monsters. You want to see uh, variations of spells and, and stuff like that. I got you. Um, this is cool. The combo goes off, though. Like, you'll have one in the deck, right? Mm -hmm. um, you'll have you'll bring this back on your opponent's turn, mm -hmm. and this will be in your hand. So, like, after the crackback, you'll be putting this from the hand to the spell and trap zone with this instead of getting the primer from the deck. The primer is just sitting there. Uh, for your field spell if you need it or whatever. Okay. But you'll have everything in play after you play the first Centurion card, you'll have everything in play. So uh, this is all you need in the spell. Once you I get going, ain't nobody gonna stop this deck. <laughs> Three, <laughs> look. one. Um, this is the one that you really wanna see mm -hmm. more than any of these. So this is why I played it like this. Um, you can also get to this through White Woods. You can bridge into it. Um, so uh, this is why you know, so it's three. You see this in open hands, this is really insane. This is how you bridge into the White Woods if you have a White Woods in play. Um, but it's good anyway. I, I like this over Emeth. Emeth is just not really that good in this list. Uh, you don't really want to have that card in your hand. This card is just better because it gives you two summons and then you can end on a, a Link Monster. So you don't synchro all the way, you, you do some Link Monsters. It's a Shadow Plus so, one. I got, yeah. You know, it's like you got a plus off of it as much as possible. And then just two more of these. And this, this is the only other cards I play. I do not play Bonds. I do not play Embla. Um, although Embla is good, it serves as the same purpose as this. Mm -hmm. If if you go Embla and put this here, and then you go Effect and the Impermit, like you're in a bad spot. So like, even if you have combo in your hand, you still have to make a Centurion card. So yeah, um, I cut that. Um, usually I'll search this off of Premiere, use it, and then banish this to set this, and then I'll show you why I do that later, but insane combo. Mm -hmm. um, that's it. Ten, Seems ten like you cut out a lot of the fluff out of Centurion when yeah, you mix yeah. it. Yeah. It's like a lot, because you, you're going to see this, it, with this deck, you're going to see this engine more so than anything else, because you know, it's just a lot. Um, but, except for when you see the White Woods. The White Woods get on my fucking nerves, though. Excuse my friend. <laughs> oh, we're four but, minutes in, bro. You can cuss me out if you want to. <laughs> uh, White Woods, two, two, one, one, three spells and a trap. Um, the only thing I didn't like about this is just this. This should have been one. Um, but the only reason why I did it is because on the crackback, when you have this trap card right here, 
when you activate, you want to have one and one in the deck. This is why I play two of these. This is not the one that you want to see, you know, first. I know it has a budget players effect. are going to be very happy with you, bro. They're going to be like, oh, I don't have to get nine of these. No, nah, no, nah, you don't need, you don't need a bunch of these, man. You just need one of this. You'll search this mm -hmm. off that uh, whichever spell and like either this or this, and then you'll pitch it off the field spell and then Gargoyle will help you bring it back or oh, one of these will help you bring it back. So you just need one. Just one of this. Um, They're gonna ask you for a combo video because of how well you're explaining this. So you know. Oh yeah, yeah. Smash that like combo button for nice. this guy. I'll show you the end board. It's pretty, it's pretty cool. Ask that big guy back there. He'll, he'll tell you. It was trash. <laughs> it was trash. He back there, Hayden. He back I there, am. Hayden. I am. Oh, <laughs> uh, now this, this right here is really good, right? Because if you see any of these with any of the Centurion cards, it's like, it's crack. It's real crap. You can do a whole bunch. Is of that shit. why it skyrocketed? Uh, it's about to go up some more. I'm pretty yeah, sure. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, I side out one of these. He smashed because like you don't really want to see three of these in your opening hand going into uh, game two because mm -hmm. you're not gonna have anything on the board for it to search. So I always side one out. It's such a cool looking card itself. Yeah, the, the art, they all look so cool. They all look cool. Like Somebody, some, wh whoever the artist they hired, he went yeah, off on yeah, these. He, 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 he tore this shit up. The extra, <laughs> the extra deck though, the extra deck is nice. Yeah. But um, I wouldn't change these at all. Um, maybe one, but he said know, maybe, maybe, maybe. Long shot. The thing is, just keep drawing them. There's drawing a whole bunch of them. It's just crazy. Um, I played one of this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I guess you know what I played actually. Like this card, well, not this card, but the card that brings this card out. Gas. Silhouette. Gas. <laughs> Gas. Yeah, it makes. It, I'll explain when I get to it. Yeah. Uh, three frost. I see a lot of people not playing this card at all, even in pure centurions. What the hell are y'all doing? Like, yeah, this helps man. you see when you don't. This is three more starters to your deck. You know, who cares if you don't draw for leg? You can draw on it the next turn. <laughs> what the heck? I don't know what's wrong with you people. <laughs> but yeah, you gotta be. You gotta play three. And then the last, the rest of the deck is non-engine. So you got three ash, uh, three bestials. This card, these were like. I want to say I don't want to say the bane, but they I, they came in my hand all the time, especially these two. These two came to my hand a lot. I combo with these a lot today. Just these two, <laughs> it's crazy. You like but, playing this guy over to him? Like the only reason why he's here, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. The only reason why he's here is because I couldn't find him. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I was. I could tell you. <laughs> I could tell, bro. I, I could was sitting here doing a trade with Panda just now, and I saw a Drew, and I was like, uh, I just get to this pattern. <laughs> but um, I only played this because of Brandon. I knew there was a lot of Brandon at the locals, and I just didn't want to get Puppet or Gimmick Locked. Mm -hmm. um, but like I said, I saw it every, every round I saw it, and I comboed with it more so than I did in my own you know, deck. So yeah. one effect Valor is searchable. So... I didn't want to not have the option of getting it. Uh, three imperm, three droplet, and <laughs> three cosmic. I, okay. Uh, okay. I main deck this card. I've I've been talking about main deck this card for a minute now because I been, agree one thousand percent. I've been but talking to a cookie, and uh, cookie is actually he, he gave me the insight more so on playing because uh, when we play. Mm -hmm. And I activate this on the field spell, and it just makes me feel so good. <laughs> yeah. So, um, but yeah, this card is actually really good. I mean, it was Ghost Ogre. I was gonna play Ghost Ogre in this slot because I know it's a lot of like fun. There's thunderies, there's runic, there's all types hey, of hey, stuff. Hey, 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 birds are chirping, sir. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Stop, stop. <laughs> Y'all birds. Cyclone go my map. We gonna have a problem. Bro. Yeah, that's another card we need to talk about getting on the list. Map. That trap card. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, trap yeah. card need to go. <laughs> Um, but it is good against everything, man. Uh, every deck right now puts something in this back row that needs, like Fire Deck, they got the fill spell. Tempi, you hit the fill spell, that's really good. And you can use all these to interrupt with them uh, at that point. The mirror match is busted in the main match. And you can just always side it out. Like This card is actually really, really good in the main. I 1,000% agree. Bro. And then um, another reason why I took it out, I took... Uh, I had a hand trap in the slot, and I took it out because the deck needs more spell and traps. So I wanted more spells and traps to utilize with the monsters mm -hmm. to, to pitch and stuff. And you can always add these back any given point. True. So you never have to worry about them. Yeah. Nah. I've, I've pitched skill drain. I have skill drain back a lot. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Well, the Cyclone is, is 
uh, extremely strong point that I think a lot of people need to hear anyway. Yeah, it's also a good going first card too. So like if you, let's say you don't have a lot of going first stuff into other matchups, you can always sign into Cosmic. Cosmic is just going first. Mm -hmm. uh, 40 card main deck, uh, extra deck. Um, uh, Zapper Shrimp, I didn't sum it today, but it's there for extra interruption for the freaking field spell. <laughs> Um, and just like other back row decks, um, they didn't summon it. Plus, it's uh, it's one of my interruptions. It makes me go into Chaos Angel on my opponent's turn. Mm -hmm. um, level six, two, two level sixes, the only level sixes I play. Um, I summon this more so, obviously, because it's a searcher. But I be catching people with this, man. This Book of Eclipse effect is dope. I, the Book of Eclipse earlier, I went effect summon, and my opponent didn't read it. He went chain. Uh, fire engine to it right and then, and then i guess he thought i was just booking the fire engine he summoned out airlift and i was like all right eclipse he's like you just booked this right no <laughs> <laughs> he had ip he could have changed ip and stuff so i was like crazy. Now i watched that card catch uh somebody was playing cash and i watched him get cooked by that card i'm like wow that's what that does yeah it's that... also good against tempi because like you know tempi didn't do their first wave of push mm -hmm. and then go all right yeah you know, Mix this in, yeah. Um, you know, summon this and they book moon and board, and then it forces them to have to have time in the battle phase. You know, to ask that. Shit. Um, it's good against a lot of different decks, too. Um, but that's it. this card right here, man, <laughs> the artwork insane, the effect insane. Like, the only thing that would make this better if this was 2000. <laughs> This card is gas, man. Like this, this so, card is gas. <laughs> so explain what what applicant. Okay. So so like um, you have these three as, as tuners that you can summon. Mm -hmm. Right. It's the, the normal ones. I don't play anymore. Um, I was playing coral, but corals it just it sucks. Um, but these three is all you really need, right? This will be in the graveyard for um on the end of your turn. Or uh, on your follow up, unless you go into the center on place. But these are two that you actually summoning. Um, this to book a moon is an interruption on your opponent's turn, just in case. Like against Tempai, you can book a moon their shit. Um, I'm, I can't think of off the top of my head what, what other decks is really good against, but I know it's insane against Tempai. But this right here, you know, on summon, it pops a card. And then you can simply using these two to go into Chaos Angel. So like, it, it gives you another interruption, plus it pops. The freaking failed spell. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, and just ending on that. I like ending on this board. I'll show you. I'll show you the board here in a little bit. Mm -hmm. I'll put that to the side. Uh, one of this. Okay. <laughs> Send all your hate mail to this dude because he's burning your ass in time with it. Let's, oh let's my bad. Oh my bad. My bad. It's it's, it's very. I'm giving y'all some games, some tips. So, in time, mm -hmm. you can go summon this right to buy. Let's say you don't activate. Uh, you don't see. Um, Dogwood. Yeah. You can go summon, and then you can go crimson into this and bring this out and pop out. So that's one of your cards. You can hard make this into boards. Like I hard make. Wait, this. wait, 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 wait. Did you just say crimson for a not a level? Yeah. <laughs> so you crimson summon this, target this, bounces back, summon this, and then you can pop this and give you some more cards. Um, I made this against Manolius board. They I, had five. Hold on, baby. You just gonna keep talking like it, this man is breaking the fourth dimension. But all right, the <laughs> <laughs> student. All right, you can hard make this against certain decks. Like I made it against uh, Melodious, and they had like five cards. Mm -hmm. And I hard make this, um, activate effect, pop their stuff, and then play the field spell and continue to play. That's insane, bro. Um, just and relevant. It was it was Crystal Wing because you could you know summon these. These are tuners. Um, and you just use this That's and, why you, you know, said because you yeah. But this is just better. Um you know. But Crystal uh, Wing is nasty though. <laughs> yeah, but this part right here. Yeah. And then uh, another thing too, because uh calamity, if like they out, out calamity you can bring this back from the graveyard, so mm -hmm. it's just another card. Um, Chaos Angel, I summon this every game. Um insane. I wanted to play this batter, but uh, there's no room one. It's the tempi stopper, low key. Yeah, yeah, oh, yep, yep. Um, or uh, just certain decks that like like to push and like uh, go through stuff. This is like really good. You can sit on this on cer against certain decks and they just can't do nothing. All your stuff is big. Uh, wait the king said, "I got something you can sit on." <laughs> <laughs> Buy me dinner first. No. Uh, one Christian. 
barely summoned it today. Um, summoned these more today than anything. I didn't right summon there. these two at all. Shout out to both of them, but that's my homie uh, right there. I actually summoned this once, but I didn't summon this at all today. Uh, at all. Like, I didn't claim me lock one person today. It just at wasn't relevant. Did I claim me lock you? No. Right? No, I didn't claim me lock one person today. At all. Uh, Shout out to Voiceless Voice. Um, this card damn work now. It, it had to be claimed. It couldn't be anything else. But <laughs> I was about to say something. <laughs> He's like, let me shut up. <laughs> but normally I do this against Branded mm -hmm. or Tempai because like they, they can like give me puppet lock you or attack you and kill you. So like they automatically get it. And then like fire decks, if I if they you know if they're all their waves they're pushing, they still got more. They're not claiming lock them. But most of the time, M board. Uh, this right here. Oh, I gotta, well, I guess I can't show you the inboard yet. I gotta show you the last cards first. All right. The last four cards was four late monsters. Rabbit, insane. This is an interruption on your for your deck because like every turn you get to pop a spell or trap because your traps are monsters and they get to summon. So every turn you get to pop a card. So you can just leave this here. Uh, it can't be destroyed by battle. So you can just leave that there, and then whenever you're ready, that's you broken, just, bro. That's really just, broken. That's why I was looking at you in the face. That's broken because I forgot. Yes, they are continuous traps. Yeah. Uh, so then you don't have to have the the, the Azun. You can side that out, games. Like especially if you're going like second, you can side out that and leave this, mm -hmm. and then your cards are still interruptions. Every turn, your cards are interruptions, and then when they're, if you're playing a deck that you know maybe the Azun rune is better than utilizing that effect. Then you can just get rid of that and just make SP or make Lina. Lina's insane mm -hmm. uh, uh, because a lot of most of the decks right now play lights, you know. So you can just Lina take that, make Celine, and then Celine also can sit right here because um, when, once Celine touches the board, it's gonna have a whole bunch of spells. So on your opponent's turn, you can go uh, affect special summon Permia or affect special summon back one of the other level fours and fast synchro. And then do that again on your turn. I feel like Celine interacting with all them White Woods cards is only going to get dumber over time, yeah, bro. Because yeah, somebody, insane. it's going to take more time of people like you messing around with it, and somebody's going to find something that's not fair at all. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about access code as well, but this is all you need. It's, it's just not enough room. Well, he's um, he's the low key rank, yeah. link four. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's just not enough room. Now, cards that you could chain out the extra deck, well, obviously when this gets in, you know, it's just be another one of those. But you can take this out if you don't. Cause I would love that for time, though. Know. But uh, we have some other options for time as well. So, so it's like, you, you think line is necessary? It. Um, it's not necessary, but the applications it has is, one, it's a light. Like I said, a lot of decks playing light monsters, like, you know, the top decks all have light monsters in their deck. Nib. Two. Nib for obvious reasons. Yep. Or effect Valor. Yep. Fiend Smith. Yep. Um, two, you can summon it and then attack and then search any of your Whitewood cards. Yeah. They're all 1500 or less defense. So um, that's the one reason, and that's another reason why I, I put it in there. But easy link up to this. And that's why you yeah. is that the the Valor the Valor you have you ever grabbed Valor off of that? Maybe no, but I grabbed Valor off of this. This is what searches Valor. Right so you got multiple ways to grab a Valor. So that's why you want to play one. Shout out to that artwork, bro. Every Insane time I see this artwork, card, we bro. already saw it earlier in the profile. I'm Insane really like, artwork. All the artworks on these synchros, uh, these cards are really good. That is tough. Uh, I mean, tough. just hurry up and get through the side deck so you don't lose no, no time. Um, side deck was just for this event. Actually, I think it's actually poor, poorly built. Poorly built. I could have done something better. But three troll. Um, I did not want to uh, sit there all day. <laughs> <laughs> I know there's fun to read players here. There's a few players here that Joe's hurt, so I, you know. Actually, to be honest, I'm gonna give you another. I took this out. This was in the main deck. I took them out for for Bissios mm -hmm. because of a guy in our locals named John Weber. <laughs> <laughs> So, <laughs> uh, I pulled up to locals and he smacked me with voice as voice. I told him he's not going to beat me again. And I took these out the main deck. I put bestials in the main deck. Gee, I want voice. He didn't voice. beat me, but I didn't beat him. <laughs> Voiceless voice. Interesting. 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 <laughs> uh, three of this card. No, no. Uh, Facts. The only reason why... It might sound horrible, but the only reason why I put this on the list is because I know players at my locals play slow. 
so I can use that to my advantage, I guess. Yeah. Nah, that's Yu Gi Oh! Shit, that's um, Yu Gi Oh! <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, that's the only reason why it's there. I actually won me a match against a branded player because um, I didn't have anything to side in, and I, I was gonna side in the nibs. And then I was like, well, you know what? It's like 16 minutes left on the clock. He His combo is like maybe five. I'm gonna side these in instead. And I actually saw it and it brought me up to 22.5 and he went for a big push. He's, he had like four monsters with 2,500 attack and 3,000 attack and then like half and he brought me down to like 91 and he pinned. So, yeah, card's good. Nib, um, fuck this card. <laughs> um, round one, this card shitted on me. I sided it in against uh, Unchained and scene two, and then drew the third. <laughs> so, um, but I don't. I hate going into tournaments without this card because I just feel like I'm just gonna get wrecked on. Mm -hmm. uh, three evenly matched. I wanted an additional card because Runix. Apparently, there's no Runix here, so no, no. this actually could have actually just, actually just, I resolved it once, yeah, it but it could have been something else. I wanted Fantasmi on my list, and I couldn't. Johnny, Johnny, fun, fun guy, funny guy over here with the Cyclones in his deck. You know, he said I didn't need it as often. I got you. All right. <laughs> um, best card in the side deck. Like, Skill drain. Oh, I guess you do have big, big monsters. Not just that. Every car, every card in your main deck plays around it. So like. You can you can do your end board, right? Oh, because you sit. All right, y'all, we out. We <laughs> <laughs> no, go ahead, bro. End board is uh, the silhouette. Oh, I guess I do um, This, 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 and where's uh, Wolves? This is in the graveyard. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, this is banished because you you'll banish this to to because you use this to link into this, and mm -hmm. then you'll banish this during the end phase to add this back, and then you have the two centurions. This is this is every time. Every time you, you start combo, this is every time. So if you have this right, this activates banishes for call. So that takes care of that, right? He comes back. Hold on, bro. <laughs> you gonna come back with four thousand, four thousand, man? Send all hate mail to Akeem Davis. I no, just wanted to say not, that, bro. You no, no, you're not just gonna keep talking. Send all hate mail to Akeem. <laughs> that's broken, bro. Let's okay. say, let's say you uh, you playing against, uh, I don't know, I, Tempai, whatever you activate. You know, they do something you activate effect. Um, if this is face up, I, I don't, usually don't activate this yet. I usually burn through like the stuff that I have. I don't use my Centurion cards. That's the last thing that I do, just in case. Like, <laughs> you, just if my opponent still got pushes, I, I'm about to clean them out that way. Like, <laughs> yeah, I didn't try to tell you. I didn't try to tell you to relax, and you, you ain't. Know. <laughs> <laughs> but if if you know they push through this, they push through these. Mm -hmm. You know, then I can go. You know, uh, calamity or whatever. But skill drain. The thing about skill drain is. You activate effect to summon uh, like a tuner, right? Mm -hmm. You have two level fours in the graveyard, so you just go that's effect, crazy. chain, tag this out. That's crazy. Right? All of it is playing smoothly under the skill drain, yep. and they're all gigantic 4,000 monsters. Summon this guy, right? Right? Mm -hmm. And then you go effect, tag that out. Mm -hmm. You can book a moon. And then you can activate this, summon out another monster, synchro again. Dear Konami. This is going to be the guy that got skill drain limited back to one. They're probably going to ban it out right now because of you. Um, oh, no, no, I'm not done. He said, he said, going, wait a minute. No, y'all going to get rid of skill drain. Y'all going to get rid of the skill drain. see these cards right here? These cards is nuts when it comes to skill drain, bro. Because they can it's play under skill drain, too. That's crazy, bro. Effect send. And then later on in the combo, guess what? Summon, effect, add back. Under so you skill can, drain. You can sit, no, like, you can send the skill drain. Do your combo and then summon this add skill drain back. So if let's say your opponent has the board breakers, you still got skill drain on, on their turn to stop them. Well bro, I appreciate the profile. Yeah, no as long as they'll. No. <laughs> but when it's when it's high level of skill and, and and the deck building and the skill of what you're doing, it's important to be fully explained the correct way so that nothing's misunderstood. So I I appreciate you bro. Congratulations on top four and we out. Peace. Oh, I ain't getting any shout outs. Oh, well, my bad, my bad. Shout out, shout out, shout out, oh, shout outs. Are you still on there? Yeah, 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 oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Right, right, shout outs then. It was supposed uh -huh. to be in the beginning. Uh huh. But, um, Source, first and foremost, for allowing me to be here to play the game. Um, 
My uh, family. <laughs> um, Cookie. Today we been play testing a lot. Cookie um, be cooking. But fuck him, do the work. Um, shout out to the wise guys and everybody here. Uh, 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 Game Cafe, everybody who showed up and played in the test tournament. Um, fuck you, Panda. <laughs> That's Panda in the background. He just nodded his head in approval. Yes, yes, appreciate that. Appreciate it. I agree. I agree. <laughs> and we out. Shout out to Dylan. Um, What's his extra deck is mine? Not most of it. <laughs> like six cards of it. Okay, I'll send you. Okay, we we gonna we gonna let them argue. They gonna they gonna fight off camera. We gonna let them.